Hi, this video will show you how to enable RESTful service with full CRUD functionality on a table using Oracle Apex. So let's get started. So we first log in to um, Workspace. Okay, so let's verify, see if we have any RESTful services right now. So there's no RESTful object enable as yet. So let's create a table and enable RESTful service to it. It's very simple. Just go back to SQL Workshop, select browser. Um, we now have, let's, let's create a table from one of the sample data sets. So let's go back, select utilities, sample data set. Okay, let's install the task spreadsheet. So that's the table name. Again, table name. Install data set. That's it. So this is a table. We have a column with project size of the character and the ID is the primary key etc here's the data okay so how do you enable restful services on this table it's very simple all you need to do is select rest on the table and enable it select it. enable we're gonna not do authentication right now so let's say no give it an AS of task and click on apply so if you notice this is the restful URI let's copy that and this will give you the C in CRUD which is the retrieve record so if you go there That should return a list of all of the records. So if you want to retrieve a specific record, all you need to do is get the ID and paste it here. So let's get the raw data, let's get the correct ID. So let's see, select one ID, which is that. Paste it here. And click on enter. So as you can see, only one record is returned. So, so far we were able to verify the read from the CRUD functionality. So if you need to do a post or a create record or an update or a delete, we cannot do it via the browser. So let's do it using the Postman utility or application. So I have it open already. Okay, so we did the get so we can do it again here I will retrieve all of the record and if you want to retrieve a specific record you can select the ID paste it here that will return just one record okay Again, all we did so far is just we are really we did the the report. Our record, read all record. So we did that functionality. So let's do a create, and this is update, and this is the. We got the functionality or the crowd functionality. So we did read. Let's do a create, which is basically a post. So instead of get, we select the post and we're posting to that URI and we need to pass what we're posting. So let's use one of this. 
actually have it copied already so so th this is a J JSON data you want to post so we're gonna post a project name task name start date and this that are assigned to cost let's put 100 200 sample project sample task Okay, to this nine three nine five. Okay. So when we enter this, well, let's verify it doesn't exist already. Go back to the table. Go to SQL command. Select passwords from. Where project? Select. So this should not return any record hopefully yep there's no data found so when we do an in when we do an insert it should create this sample project so again we select the post command this is the UI we're posting to we're passing JSON objects so in the header you specify any content type is application JSON and this is the content you're passing so let's submit that and hopefully nothing fails. Submit. Okay, so it created the record and gives you the and return the record with the ID. Again we can verify that where we're running the SQL. Run. So now it does exist as you can see okay so we did the create which is the insert and the read so let's do the update so we're gonna update this project these two tasks the project and the task name we'll just update those update those two fields or two columns go back to postman okay so we know this is the ID so we need to specify the ID of the record you want to put, you want to update. So that's the ID, and we're gonna specify update, update. Also, there are additional fields that we must specify, such as created and update created by. Because these are required for you so whenever you update you must have these fields in the JSON object copy and paste it Okay, so basically all we're doing is just updating the project and the task name. We're doing the put command instead of the post. Again, we're passing JSON as specify here. And this is the actual content of a JSON object. Okay, and it's sent. If it's updated, it should reflect here. Post set. Okay, this is updated. Also, you can verify it via SQL. If you run this, this should be updated here and here. So, it's updated. So again we did the create, we did the read and the update. So the last part of CRUD is delete. So let's verify that. So we're gonna remove this record. So to remove the record, basically we specify the ID here, same URI, and then select delete as the request. Again, there should be no body, so let's remove the body. And if 
we submit it it should delete this record it's that so the record is deleted let's verify that and we go to SQL we run this record I mean the SQL we should have no record run nope done okay so it's very simple how to create a web services with full cloud functionality on a table so basically all you need to do is just select the table go to reception and enable rest will rest enable the subject select it yes and authorization if you want authorization then you will say yes otherwise select no okay that's it i hope this helped you